What's going on, YouTube? This is NecroStevo, and this is your bonus upload. That's right, a boneless, bonus, a boneless upload. If it, if it had bones, and then we remove them and clump the remaining chicken together, we could sell it as a sizzling apple tizzler. Anyways, you guys managed to hit 35 likes on the previous video. Thank you so much. Um, and for that, I have an extra upload for you today. So this is actually a VGC battle spot video uh, battle that I had. Last week, maybe the week before, and I wanted to just bring some random things and try it out. I wasn't expecting to win or to have any good battles, I just expected to have some fun. I really wanted to see how some things performed in the VDC environment, and I was a little bit bored of Showdown. So I decided to bring uh, Charizard Y, Gudra, my Scarf Diggersby, and Wigglytuff to this battle, expecting to face off against things like Mawile, and uh, maybe Gothitelle, packing that Shadow Attack ability to stop me from switching out. Um, Gudra, of course, has a assault vest, has an assault vest, excuse me. Here I'm just gonna mega evolve and go for protect, expecting a rock slide. He just goes straight for outrage. I think he was hoping it would hit Gudra. It actually goes into the protect, which works out. I'm able to hit him with a dragon pulse from my Gudra, which, since Gudra is max HP, max defense, it actually does a really good amount of damage. Uh, and the trick room is now up, which isn't too bad. Uh, my Diggersby is choice scarfed. But I do have Wigglytuff, and Wigglytuff is quite bulky, uh, and is able to take a lot of hits just because of how high its HP stat is. It's kind of like Chansey in that regard. Now here I just wanted to go for a Solar Beam, in case he decided to switch out here. Of course, I didn't know which four he had brought, and Solar Beam is a nice, strong, neutral hit, of course. Uh, Gothitelle is going to be an issue because of that Shadow Tag ability. It's stopping me from switching out, which is quite annoying, not going to lie. Uh, she just goes for the charm, of course, which raises Malamar's attack. I actually did not protect with Charizard Y, which I, def I definitely should have. I didn't expect it to have Rock Slide for some reason. Uh, but that, that is one way to learn that lesson. <laughs> of course, I don't run... I think the mindset there was that I didn't have it on my own uh, Malamar, so I wasn't expecting it on his. Now, of course, Malamar is at plus two attack. It likely has Rock Slide, Super Power and either Psycho Cut or Night Slash, most likely Night Slash, just because of the coverage and, of course, things being immune to Psycho Cut. Now, here's where we see Wigglytuff really shine. Since Wigglytuff comes in, um, and before the Mawile, the competitive actually raises Wigglytuff's special attack by two stages. This, of course, will also activate when Wigglytuff gets stats lowered through things like um, Moonblast, getting hit on a special attack, or if it switches into Sticky Web. Wigglytuff also gets some great coverage in um, its move, in its moveset generally, and you can also use multi-targeting moves such as Hyper Voice and Dazzling Gleam on it, and after a plus two, they actually hurt quite a bit as we saw right there. Now unfortunately I'm not able to do enough damage to take out the Mawile, I really should have Fire Blasted the Mawile, but that's okay. We're, we're just gonna sit in here and tank these hits with Gudra, versus the Gothitelle. Gothitelle is just probably max HP, max special defense, and it is not doing enough to my Gudra to really do what it needs to do. Now I'm able to take out the Gudra. The sun goes down unfortunately, but that's okay because I still have my Diggers B. And I really thought that my Gudra could take a hit from Diggers B. It's Choice Scarf, max speed and attack. And he goes for Sucker Punch on my Gudra, which hurts a lot. I, I guess I just didn't see that coming. Uh, a little bit unfortunate there. Because now I'm going to end up knocking out my own Gudra with my Earthquake, and I really did think that I could knock out the Malamar as well, but of course, with spread moves in a double battle, the power is decreased, so I'm able to take down one and not the other, and that leads Diggersby to get hit in the face by a superpower. And Malamar is no slouch on its uh, offensive stats there, they are slightly above average, I'd say, and so Diggersby actually goes down. So that was a pretty narrow 1-0 there, but I had fun, and it helped me kind of think of the ways that I wanted to use Wigglytuff in doubles if I decide to use it, or other Pokemon that get access to the competitive abilities such as Melodic. 
So, I hope you all enjoyed this little bonus upload here. Thank you so much for hitting like on my previous video. The next uh, video will um, we'll definitely have another like goal. And if you all hit that, we'll get another bonus video going. But in the meantime, you all have a great day. Bye now.